Welcome back to Brisk Bytes. As always, we're starting here from the main Brisk Tools dashboard, which you can find at bit.ly slash try Brisk Tools. If you're moving in order with us, you know that we're about to try Brisk's something else tool. Normally, we click the try it button but I'm actually going to jump over here to a resource that I've got open on the hero's journey. And as a film student myself, this was one that I would have used all the time in class, one of our favorite units. Now, the something else tool, the best way I can explain it is that it's what you use when you need something so specific that it just quite doesn't fit into any of the other things in the create menu. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Here on our resource, I'm going to go ahead and summon brisk using the extension down here at the bottom and choose create. This time I'm going to choose the something else tool. All right. The box looks really familiar. I can go ahead and use the text box in the middle to put in my prompt or what I need Brisk to generate for me. Remember, we use the something else tool when we're getting really, really specific. When I did Hero's Journey with my students, I often was teaching my elective course, which meant that I had all different grade levels in that film class. I also wanted to provide a lot of choice and agency when we were doing our summative activity on the hero's journey. But I, of course, as a major fangirl, also wanted to always include Star Wars as an option. So I was getting really specific. Let me show you what I mean. Here's my prompt. I need four different summative activities related to the hero's journey information on this page that we used in class. But here's the catch. In addition to those summative activities, I really want one of them to be about Star Wars. Okay, so I've got that here in the prompt as well. But in addition to that, I'm going to need each of these activities to have directions in a different reading level, depending on all the different ages and grade levels that I might have enrolled in my class. So I've got summative activities, several different types of options for my students and different grading levels. Okay, this is definitely something else. So let's go ahead and brisk it and see what we get. As always, we'll get the first pass. And then if we want to tweak anything or change anything up, we can go back in and have Brisk, um, you know, refine our prompt a little bit. So I can see what it's creating. Great. So it's giving me directions in seventh grade, 10th grade, and 12th grade. And I can see that it's created four activities. Create a presentation, analyze a hero's journey film, write a hero's journey narrative, and uh, create a comic strip that illustrates the hero's journey. So now I've got something else brisk. You thought of everything, and then you even thought of what we didn't think of. Amazing. Thanks for trying out something else here on Brisk Bites. We'll see you for another one soon.